Hello and welcome back finally to another video. It's been a while since I posted anything. I've been doing good in school. Today we're going to be working on my 2018 Ford Mustang. And I'd also like to welcome it back to the channel. Because it's only got 11,500 miles on it, well, 11,600, the spark plugs don't need changed, but today I'm going to show you how to change the spark plugs anyway. So let's get right into it. This is Ford's 2.3 liter EcoBoost inline four cylinder engine, which according to them can produce up to 310 horsepower and 350 foot pounds of torque. If you take a look at the top of the engine compartment, you'll see a bar going across the top. This is called a strut tower brace and I'll be removing this first. The strut tower brace is held on by a total of eight lock nuts, four on each side. The ones on the driver's side are pretty straightforward to access. However, the ones on the passenger side require you to remove the battery beauty cover. This is held on by three screwable push pins. Once these pins are removed, and the brown positive cable stabilizer is moved out of the way, we have full access to the four lock nuts on the passenger side. After removal of these lock nuts, Gently slide the strut brace up and over the bolts that stick up out of the strut tower and set it aside until we reassemble. If you're watching this in 2018 or 2019, it's likely that your car has had this plastic cover that you'll have to remove. Sometimes people forget to put these back on in shops and the customer never realizes it. It's mostly there to make the engine bay look nice, but it does provide a cover for the ignition coils and some connectors underneath from moisture in the event of rain or snow driving. On top, there are two nuts and two bolts that need to be removed. There is an 8mm bolt on the passenger side front of the engine, and an 8mm bolt on the driver's side rear of the engine. Opposite of those on the driver's side front of the engine, and the passenger side rear of the engine are two 10mm nuts. These need to be removed for us to be able to remove the cover. Once the cover is removed, we have our first look at the ignition coils that we're going to be removing. The one on the front of the engine and the one on the rear of the engine have these loops on top of them to help guide the wiring harness throughout the engine bay. The ignition coils are fastened in with one 8mm bolt each. Remove these bolts and slide each of the ignition coils out of the spark plug holes and set them aside. These can also be unclipped from the wiring harness if necessary, but I found it's easier to just set them over to the driver's side of the engine. Good practice when removing or installing spark plugs is to use a spark plug socket. They make ones with rubber gaskets inside, or in my case, I have one with a magnet that helps remove and install each spark plug. Once each of the spark plugs have been removed, take your replacement spark plugs and connect them to the end of the socket. Gently thread each one of these in by hand, taking extra care, as you don't want to cross thread them into the head of the engine. Since we're working on an engine with an aluminum head, it's a good idea to torque the spark plugs down to the manufactured torque spec of 106 inch pounds. After each of the spark plugs are properly torqued into the head, take each of the ignition coils and return them back to the spark plug holes. Thank you. 
I like to wiggle them around a little bit to make sure the connection to the top of the spark plug is good. Reinsert the four 8mm bolts that hold each of the ignition coils in. And tighten these down. I wasn't able to find the manufactured torque spec on these from all data, but just make sure they're snug. Don't forget at this point to reattach the loops on the rear and front ignition coil bolts and if you unplugged your ignition coils to plug them back in. We will now reinstall the engine cover, reinstall the two 8mm bolts, and the two 10mm nuts. If you don't have a strut brace, then you're finished and ready to get back on the road. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you or if you liked it, then hit the like button. Also comment down below if you have any questions regarding this procedure and continue watching the rest of this video if you'd like to see me reinstall the strut brace. And that's it. That's how you change the spark plugs on a 2018 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking the video. Thanks for commenting down below. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.